Hello, my London Hawaiians. This is Mrs. Dillon, your art teacher. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own crayon sculpture using a recycled cardboard tube. Let's get started. You are going to need the following art supplies. At least one paper towel cardboard tube. If you don't have one paper towel cardboard tube, you can use two toilet paper cardboard tubes. You're going to want white paint of some kind. I have just plain white acrylic paint to make the tubes white so that my color shows up nice and bright. I'm going to make my crayon sculpture this kind of aqua turquoise color. Um, if you want to make up your own color turquoise, you could use blue and a little bit of green. I'm also going to be using um, black paint as well. Now, um, to make the cardboard tubes look more like a crown, I'm going to be using scissors to cut and snip the tube at the end in order to give it a point, like a crown has a point at the end. You're also going to want a paintbrush. And you don't need this, but I like to use um, what's called palette paper. And if you don't have palette paper, um, basically you just want somewhere to put your paint. Um, a old piece of paper, tin foil, a paint tray. If you have a paint tray, works just as well. First, you're going to start with your cardboard tubes. You're going to leave one solid like I have here. I'm going to move it to the side. This is where you need your scissors. And what you're going to do, not all the way up, you're going to snip the cardboard tube four times. So one here, and you can see I've already done this. One on the opposite side, same length if you can, and then one in between. Then you're gonna slowly start pushing these in so that they overlap a little bit. At this point, you could either tape this, but then the paint won't stick, or you can hot glue it or use regular glue. If you use regular glue, you're going to have to hold it for at least two minutes. I would think that that would be long enough for it to dry where it won't pop back open. I have two toilet paper cardboard tubes. But to make my crown a little bit longer and more realistic, I'm going to glue them together. Now that it's dry, I can go ahead and start painting the tube white. Okay, now that the paint has had a chance to dry, I'm ready to mix up the color for what would be the paper wrapping of this crayon. If you've ever looked at a regular crayon, the paper wrapping tends to be just a little bit lighter than the normal color of the crayon. So I know that I want my crayon to be this kind of aqua turquoise kind of color. Um, I've put some white paint here on my palette paper. What I'm going to do is mix it with the white to make what's called a tint. In art, we have what's called tints and shades. A tint is when you mix white with any color, making it lighter and lighter, closer to white. A shade is when you mix black into any color, making it darker and darker, closer to black. Okay, so I have my tint of my aqua color. I am mixed a lot of white with this kind of blue green color and then just a tiny tiny bit of white okay so that's the first layer of the slightly darker blue green color i have let it dry i put on two layers of the tint of kind of aqua color that was white mixed with that color and then just the color by itself with a tiny bit of white so it's technically two tints uh um light tint and an even lighter tint because there was more white in this one for this tint. Now I'm going to take black acrylic paint and I'm going to make the stripe that would go on the paper wrapper of my crayon and I think I'm also going to write crayon sideways. I used a thin brush to paint the stripes here and I just painted two um, vertical. Remember vertical means up and down. 
vertical stripes and then I went back in with a paintbrush and kind of did a gentle wavy line to leave just a little bit of that tint of aqua color in between for the decorative stripes. And then I took um, a pencil and wrote out the word crayon. So my linen Hawaiians, that was how to make your very own cardboard tube crayon. Here's my finished artwork. But this is just an example of how you can make a cool 3D sculpture using nothing other than glue, cardboard, and maybe some paint at home. I've been loving seeing the different artworks that you boys and girls have been sending in to me. Please send those artworks in to lindenhillrelatedarts at gmail.com. If you have questions for me, Mrs. Dylan, your art teacher, please email those to lauren.dylan at redclay.k12.de.us. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.